In most farming, fishing, and nomadic communities, the child follows his parents to these activities. The child is given a job that is in line with his age and ability. Among trading communities, the child follows his parents to the market. Nowadays, in Bertua, in the eastern region of Cameroon, children undertake jobs imposed on them that are occasioned by necessity to survive. In the market centers, like in bus stops and along the highway, they transport goods in wheelbarrows, moths around selling sugar cane, ripe bananas or fruits in general, refrigerated drinking water and fries. In the informal sector, like building contractors or their subcontractors will prefer to hire children to work. These children earn little or nothing. There are millions of children in African cities whose work can be considered forced labor, not just because they are too young, but because they are forced. These include children who are kidnapped away from their families and are imprisoned in bars, restaurants, and even brothels. In addition, thousands of children work unseen in domestic service. They receive little or no pay. It has been a matter of general observation that most uneducated workers are poor because they lack education. The only way to protect these children from hazardous labor in Bertua is to extend and improve low-cost entrepreneurial educational systems like the dual pedagogy.